Good morning on Friday the 17th of July 2020. And so things are beginning to change from the way that we've started to accept since March. And I had convers I've had conversations with, with various uh, people at various times over the last few days. And something that's been a, a kind of fairly common thread, I realised when I thought about it, was that people have, of course, responded in, in different ways to what's been happening. And I guess whilst we were in the midst of it, we, um, I don't know if we stopped thinking about about that or or what, but now that things have started to uh, unfold and kind of regain, well, a degree of normality perhaps, people have started to realise just how differently they were responding to different things during that period of time where we were completely locked down. For some people, they acknowledged uh, that, that there was a, a real withdrawal on the part of themselves or somebody close to them, a lack of, of response or responsiveness to things compared with normal. There are a number of people who acknowledged that they were and are much moodier than they were perhaps because of the lack of variety of of things in their lives that they normally would have and therefore they're on a are they on a a, a shorter fuse perhaps or are they just actually somehow not communicating in the way that they normally would maybe for fear of generating um a raho or a disagreement when you, you've been closeted together and that would have been especially difficult, therefore, perhaps to deal with. There are so many different things. There are people who say that they've, they've slept more during the day, maybe because they were tired because of not sleeping at night, or maybe simply because everything just felt very flat. And exercise, of course, makes us sleep better. And for some people, that hasn't been possible. There's so many things that are different and so many things that it's a bit overwhelming for people to have tried to even begin to come to terms with it. And when I opened my, my book this morning, I opened it at, at, at this one. And I, again, I've, I've put it on the front of this reflection. But what it says is, sometimes I feel lost, said the boy. Me too, said the mole. But we love you and love brings you home. And I very much hope and pray that for those who've felt a bit lost, for these last number of months, who felt like they were a bit adrift from, from whatever their normal was, that they will hang on, that we will hang on to that message because that love brings you home. And above all, the love and grace of our Lord brings us back to him brings us back into his embrace where we will always be welcomed, always be accepted and always be forgiven. And I hope that you will like the worship song that I have this morning. It's not one that I knew before, but in my research for these reflections and various things, I came across it and thought I would like to use it. I hope you like it too. And I will next see you now on Sunday for our morning worship. And so until then, God bless, stay safe and smile.